My name is Yair Saverstein. I'm a third year student going into fourth year this coming year at Yeshiva University studying chemistry there and electrochemistry here. And what I wanted to discuss was not exactly the research here, but two things that make this program special and unique from other programs that I've been on. And the first one of those is the personal aspect of this program. From the beginning of the application, when I received a response from Dr. Sukenik that said, yeah, here I looked over your application and I noticed this and this and this in it, and I realized, wow, this is a personal response to my own application. And when I spoke to others, they also had similar responses. Then I got a ride from the airport when I landed in Israel from Professor Sukenik. When I was stuck somewhere without a ride and I needed advice, who did I call Professor Sukenik? He was there every step of the way. I could tell you many more stories, but I only had three minutes. And it's, it's really unbelievable. I've never experienced anything like this in a program before. The personal attention that I get, and from other people that, I, that I've spoken to, they get this also. The second aspect about this program that's particularly meaningful is the balance. There's balance in the entire program. So for example, in the lab, there's balance between the understanding that they have, that I need time to digest material, but also they have a regimen that they expect of me to get my work done. So as an example, I presented a, in a lab meeting yesterday uh, to Darwin Orbach's uh, whole group. And even though I've only been here for five weeks, everybody was not afraid to ask me questions, some of them which stumped me and I didn't have answers to. But then there was that, the encouragement, the other side of the balance, that even when I said I, I'm not really sure, there were others in the audience who offered answers and we were able to work through it together, even in the middle of a presentation. And that is really an example of everyone's inquisitiveness and the desire to actually understand, which I noticed of many people over here. Also, the research experience is not solitary. As much as I'm getting more of an understanding in electrochemistry, I'm also getting a, an understanding of Hebrew. We converse in Hebrew in the lab uh, at my request um, throughout the day, and then anytime I don't understand it, we switch over to English for the technical terms. So part of this balance is that besides for the lab, we also have TU Liam. So we, uh, Professor Sukenik already described, we went to IAI as uh, one example. And there we saw, among other things, a construction of a new model of a plane. And on the side of a plane was an instrument that measures the wind that's coming on, the wind velocity. And by Bernoulli's equation, which I was able to discuss with somebody over there, you're able to tell how fast the plane is going. And I've never seen an actual instrument that can do this, that applied these concepts from my classes over into real life. So that was very interesting. And there are other unique TU lean that we took, one which everyone remembers the winery, which I remember for another reason, actually. On the bus ride yesterday, uh, coming up to Barilan from uh, Gross, from Jerusalem, uh, my two chagrutot and I did the Gemara and Chagiga on Daf Kaf Bet Amin Aleph, where it discusses a gargotni. What is a gargotni? Well, we didn't know, so we checked out what Rashi said, and he said it's a vat that collects the wine that drips down from the grapes which are crushed, and it goes into the vat and it's fermented and he described it in detail and I knew exactly what he was talking about from the winery trip that we took. And so that brings me to my last point about this balance is actually living in Jerusalem. One of the reasons that I almost didn't apply to this program was because of the bus ride from Jerusalem to here, which I was told would be at a minimum 45 minutes and it's usually longer. And I was really, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't happy about that bus ride at all. I was a little bit upset that we couldn't just live on campus, and I totally changed my mind. I really enjoy the bus ride, not only because I have Haruta going, but because I'm able to bond with everybody else on the way back. I think that living in Jerusalem makes us tighter as a group, makes our whole group tighter, and that we're able to actually bond with each other, get to know each other. I've forgotten who goes to YU and who doesn't go to YU. I can't even keep track of that. And another benefit of Jerusalem, which I'm not sure the researchers here would want to hear, is the separation of work and play, which is actually really nice because I'm able to relax back in Jerusalem, which means that I'm able to focus over here and I'm able to fully devote my attention here. And as far as relaxing in Jerusalem, it's not that we're lounging around watching TV, it's that we're walking to the Yer Ha'atika, playing frisbee and Gan soccer, playing basketball on the Gris campus, making bonfires until the fires occurred, and then we kind of stopped those, but that wasn't our fault. 
And so the take home message for me is really that this program has strengthened the desire in me to explore. Dr. Boris Markovsky, who is my mentor in Professor Dara Orbach's uh, lab, asked me if I could stay here in Bar Ilan for five more years. And while I don't plan on doing that, before this program I never considered making Aliyah or never considered living in Israel, and now I'm considering it. And so that's what this program has done for me.